Hi, if you're asking yourself, when do I water my plants? This video is for you. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that this video is part of a guide that I have on watering your plants. You know, every watering routine is different and this will depend on the care that you give to your plants, the kind of plant that you have, the pot that you have, soil, and many other factors. So in this guide, we go over all of these factors so you can find the best watering routine for you and your plants. The guide also includes a list of 50 common plants at home and their watering requirements. So if you're interested in joining me over there, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And now let's get to the video. In order to know when to water your plant, it's important to understand the following factors. As I always say, when it comes to plant care, one of the most important things is to know your plant. Every plant is different, so when you get a new plant, I encourage you to learn more about her and the watering requirements that she has. Depending on what type of plant you have, she will prefer one of the three following conditions. To be watered once the soil is completely dry, so this includes succulents and cacti, and you want to make sure that the soil dries out completely before you water again or to be watered when the soil is partially dry so not completely dry but you can already feel that the soil is drying out and this is the case with most foliage tropical plants so for example the pilea peperomiotis or the peace lily and there is a third type of plant that will prefer the soil to be moist at all times and this is key to remember she will prefer the soil to be moist but not super wet so keep the soil moist at all times. These type of plants include most ferns and also calatheas, for example. So knowing which type of plant you have will really help you prevent overwatering or underwatering. This is because you will know exactly what to look for to make sure that she actually needs to be watered. And just to let you know, the complimentary document in the watering guide that I have prepared for you guys includes this information as well. So I encourage you to check that out. The second thing to learn about is the environment around your plant and this includes for example the light that your plant receives if you want to learn more about light just check out this playlist right here but let's just remember light powers photosynthesis in plants and photosynthesis is the process that plants use to produce carbohydrates to grow now related to this the more light your plant receives the more water she will use to grow and then the more frequently you will have to water her see how it all connects so it actually makes sense right because your plant is getting that light to grow so she's using the water and then we just continue to water as it is needed Another thing related to environmental conditions is the pot that you use. For example, if you look at terracotta and plastic, they will influence how moist the soil stays and for how long differently. If we look at terracotta, terracotta is very porous. So it will absorb the water out of the soil and the soil will become dry more quickly. With plastic, on the other hand, since it is not porous, it will maintain the soil moist for longer periods of time. And of course, humidity around your plant. Do you have your plant at a very dry space, for example, very close to a heating vent? Tropical plants usually like to be in more humid spaces, but if in your case it is working for you, just make sure to check the soil more regularly because the soil will also dry out more quickly. On the other hand, if your plant is in a humid space and she's still getting light but not so much light, you may have to water less frequently. What I always recommend anyways is to always check the soil and make sure that you water according to your plant needs. Now I keep saying that I check the soil before I water so what is the method that I use is very simple. I actually use my finger so the way that I do it is that I stick my finger in the soil and I check how moist the soil is at that time. Depending on which plant I have I will check for different types of dryness so if I am checking for a succulent or a cacti I will check that the soil is completely dry before I water. If I'm checking for a pilea peperomiotis or a peace lily or a set set plant I will make Make sure that the soil is partially dry before I water and if I'm checking with a calathea or a fern I will try to make sure that the soil stays moist evenly at all times. So of course how often you check will also depend on what kind of plant you have. How do you know if your plants need water? Make sure to share down in the comments I can assure you the whole community will appreciate it and of course like always that's including myself because I love to learn from you guys. Also if you're interested in learning more about watering with me make sure to check out the link to the guide on watering below. I'm very proud of that course so I hope to see you there and as always I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios! <laughs>